like that. That's a nice beat there. All right. Uh, so, Harvey Weinstein, what do you even say? I mean, I'm sure you all know the story. I mean, this guy has been harassing women, even accusations of rape, um, uh, masturbating in front of them, uh, touching them. Uh, you know, inviting them to watch him take a shower. And the guy's ugly. I mean, on top of it all, I mean, can you, can you imagine? These are beautiful young women uh, using his power over them, using power in order to, 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 to get sex out of them so that they can get good roles. So they, you know, and some women have stood up to him. I mean, I, I think Angelina Jolie basically has never worked for Weinstein because she walked out of one of these situations and said, I don't want to work for that creep. Others stood up to him but still worked for him. And others uh, folded and had sex with him and did whatever he wanted. Um, what's interesting about Weinstein, I think, is, is how much is made of this. And partially, I think it's because it's Hollywood and we're so obsessed with Hollywood. But it's also the fact that we're getting much more gory details in this case than we have in other cases. But people forget the CEO of Fox News was accused of exactly the same thing, Roger Ailes, and had to quit Fox News. Bill O'Reilly was accused of the same thing, uh, had to quit his show. Well, fire was actually fired from his show. And I, I was watching Fox yesterday, and I was just like, I was incensed. You know, here is Hannity playing all holier than thou, accusing Weinstein. Everything he said about Weinstein is true. But Hannity is basically, you know, covered up or, or, or made light of the accusations against O'Reilly and made light of the accusations against um, against Roger Ailes, there was there was nothing similar about Roger Ailes or anybody. It, it, this this issue has become instead of this issue being about uh, you know horrible men in positions of power, using that power, exploiting that power to take advantage of young women, using that power and, and actually using force. So actually probably engaging in some criminal activity. Instead of that being the story, it's become the story about, oh, the left and the right and the left. I mean, there are men in power, no matter what their political views are, who do this sh stuff and who should be condemned with the harshest means possible for behaving in this way. This is, this is horrific. Horrible. And instead of holding them responsible as individuals, the entire debate becomes, well, the left is this and the right is this. And I mean, Bill Clinton, yeah, Bill Clinton was accused of all this stuff. And yeah, it's hypocritical of, 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 of Hillary Clinton to, uh, it, to, to, to go after Weinstein or to go after Roger Elvis, but not to go after her own husband. But yeah, she's a... I, I'm not going to say it on, on the blaze. They... they, they, they they, you know, this is a family network. She's a horrible, horrible, evil woman, right? So, yeah, what, you want to catch her in hypocrisy? That, that's the thing you want to catch her on? But the fact is that they're all like this. It, and it's not about politics. It's about individual behavior. It's about individual responsibility. This guy's a creep. And the idea that he's addicted to sex is so bizarre and insulting to the term sex. Sex is a good thing. What does it mean to be addicted to something good, something positive? He's not addicted to sex. He uses sex as a vehicle to deal with, with his insecurities and, his, and, and his, his, his lack of self-esteem. We'll get to self-esteem in a minute. His, 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 his confusions, his, his, you know, uh, uh, the fact that he's a screwed up human being. He's a messed up human being. That's what Weinstein is. And he's an evil human being because he's exploiting other people. As was Bill Clinton, as was Roger Ailes, to the best of our knowledge, as was Bill O'Reilly. You can't let any of these guys off the hook. They abused women. Now, again, we're not talking about just saying to a woman, you're wearing a nice dress. We're not talking about this idea of, of uh, uh, that people have uh, that sexual harassment. You can't say anything nice. You can't. You can't hug anybody in the workplace. And, you know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking literally about physically abusing people, physically assaulting them, masturbating in front of people. That's just disgusting and sick and stupid. People don't want you to. I mean, it, 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 so 
to 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 let this off as well this is what men in power do or you know these women wanted it or you know this is what it costs to be in hollywood or he's a sex addict is just absurd and ridiculous and we have turned addiction into an excuse for everything in this country we're now addicted to anything anything you know cigarettes addictive and alcohol is addictive and sex is addictive and anything I mean, I mean, anything we want to strain is an addiction. No. No, I mean, yeah, chocolate is addictive a little bit. I mean, I, try going off chocolate if you eat chocolate a lot. It takes some effort. It's called willpower. It's called, you know, convincing yourself to do something and living up to it. It's called overcoming your emotions. Acting based on reason and not as an animal who just goes for the things it wants. It's not an addiction in the sense of, I don't know, a heroin addiction where to get off heroin, you really have to go cold turkey and you, you get all these physical symptoms and it really is hard and you probably cannot do it without help. Give me a break. Now, Avi Weinstein might need help because he's psychologically screwed up. But the problem isn't that he wants too much sex. The problem is that he enjoys humiliating people. The problem is that he has no problem with using physical force on people. The problem is that he is willing to abuse his power over their lives in order to extract things that he knows they don't want. That's what makes him sick. And that's what makes all these guys sick to the extent that they do this. Left, right, center, this is not about politics. So personal responsibility you have an urge to sleep with every young woman who walks into your office, overcome it. Go get psychological help. And if you don't, suffer the consequences. Personal responsibility means you control your emotions. It means you control yourself. It means you place reason above everything else. You place logic about everything else. You place common sense about everything else, above everything else. I don't like the term common sense because it's not that common. And, and a lot of times it's not that sensical. But it requires effort. Reason requires effort. Living a good life requires effort. Being moral, being ethical requires effort. But it's not that hard to figure out that you don't do this kind of stuff to young women. That's not hard. And it's not a sickness. It's a choice. It's a choice not to take responsibility for your own life. It's a choice not to use your mind to make your life better. It's, it's an example of somebody with horrible self-esteem, horrible, 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 in spite of the power, in spite of the success, all of that is just a facade. All of that is fake. There's no self-esteem there. And I want to talk about self-esteem uh, in uh, after 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 the break. But this isn't about politics. Now, there's another sense in which there's personal responsibility here, and that is everybody knew this was happening. Well, not everybody. A lot of people knew this was happening. And they didn't say anything. They didn't do anything. They didn't take responsibility. These women who settled and didn't say anything. I mean, I understand that they wanted the money. But what you're doing is by doing that, you're placing other women at risk. You're letting this monster get away with it. Jane Fonda, who didn't have firsthand experience but heard about this from other people, just sat there for a year and did nothing. Now, you could make an argument that that was about politics because both she and Weinstein were Hillary Clinton supporters and they didn't, maybe. But even after the election, she didn't say anything. So it's not about politics. It's more about the fact that she didn't take responsibility for the knowledge that she had to take down a human being. I hate to call him a human being who is acting in a despicable way. Now, the other thing that shocks me is that everybody in Hollywood right now is saying, oh, Weinstein wasn't the only one. Weinstein wasn't the only one. Everybody does it. There are a lot of guys, a lot of big-time producers here in Hollywood are doing this. Well, name names. Now is the time to name names. It's the time to actually, you know, expose them. We've exposed Weinstein. One, good. Let's, let's expose the others who use the, the, the casting couch. As, as, a, as, a, as a tool over people. Even if they didn't commit criminal crimes, what they're doing is immoral. Let's expose the immorality. Why is Hollywood staying silent? Where's the personal responsibility that all these people who are saying, oh, we know there are lots of other people who do this. 
Name names. Tell us who they are. Don't play games. This is not something to play games with. This is serious stuff. These are people's lives at stake. This is your entire industry. And this is true all over the place. We need many, many more people out there calling out bad behavior. Bad behavior, whether it's at Fox or MSNBC or Hollywood or anywhere in business. If you're acting like a monster, it's the silence of the people around you that makes that possible. So personal responsibility right now. I call on Hollywood, all those stars, name names, make lists, call them out. Particularly if it was done to you first-handed. But even if you've heard about it, if you've got significant evidence, you, you know, you don't want to be sued for libel or something like that. But if, if, if you think you're on solid ground, let's do it. And, and you know, let's, let's get these people out of... Uh, these sex addiction clinics in Arizona where I think Weinstein is paying $2,000 a, a night. I'm sure that he's being pampered. Um, and in, instead of recognizing the, you know, to the extent to which it, it's monstrous what he did and what people like him do.